Shit! Take cover! Get some fire on that door! There's no end to these things! We're falling apart! Taking cover! Get down, dammit! Just... Your blood is gonna pay! Appreciate it, pal. Shit! Jesus Christ, they never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God bless you, Jack Kennedy. The silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where we'll find Aldridge. Put it. 
up ahead. Some mean they should be through there. I don't know, man. You sure this will take us to the submarine bay? Are you doubting I am going to translate Russian? Hell yeah. I'm absolutely doubting it. You little faith. Aldridge on the turret. Big mistake, Johnny. Yeah! Nailed 
down. Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like, you're like a goddamn cockroach. You know that. <laughs> <coughs> What the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them were scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? <laughs> And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talked to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that! <sighs> and for what? God, I used to admire you! <sighs> Thought you represented everything great about this country. You are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. I'll get those doors open. Time to blow this pop stand. Get in.
What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Rotorhead 1, moving into position. So that's your bird! Didn't I say trust me? mean to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? And who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor.
Come on in. Don't mind us. Marshal, how's business? Booming. You and Johnny take care of that thing with Aldrich? He's dead, if that's what you're asking. Prick deserved to be flayed alive. You know, I can forgive just about anything, but you don't turn your back on the Stars and Stripes. Anyway, how'd you like to enter the ever-expanding field of bounty hunting? What? Like tracking down bail jumpers? Yeah, bail jumpers, weirdos, assholes, you name it. Just bring them back here alive. Hell, you can even use my old friend the B-128. It's a compact dart pistol. Knocks them out cold. Then I'll bring them back here, I imagine. Yeah, trunk usually works best. Last thing you want is your upholstery getting ruined. Your first target is Ray Duplass. Got picked up for running around with his pecker out. Sounds like a charmer. Yeah, kid's a little mixed up is all. Says his nudity is a political act against the war. That earned him a beating from some boys in the New Bordeaux PD. A lot of them served, or they've got sons who are serving, so they take that shit personal. If Ray's got a warrant out on him, cops might not feel like bringing him in easy. Bingo. Ray's been waving his cock at some of the anti-war protests in the French Ward, South Downs, and downtown. All right. I'll head down to one of the protests, see if I can scoop him up before the cops do. It's a slippery. Literally, it's called hyperhidrosis. Vehicle in South Downs. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. In retrospect, I probably should have given you gloves. <laughs> See, you got Ray squared away. You gonna be all right? Well, Ray's gonna go into the system. But every court date, I'll be there, too. For him. You getting soft on me, Marshal? <laughs> well, time does us all in. Next up, a scam artist by the name of Kurt Mancini. Has this oil lease scheme that's got him in the Dixie Mafia's crosshairs. Poor Kurt. Yeah, well, don't lose any tears for this creep. He refined his cons working little old widows around town. Should leave his ass to the cops, then. 
Uh, you could. But where's the payday in that, huh? Last I heard, he was shacking up in some shithole. I'll check there first. Mancini's a con man and a jerk-off. So try not to kill his ass when you meet him. 